What I love most about going to the theatre. Oh my goodness. What I love most about going to the theatre is feeling the buzz, the anticipation. Thinking or feeling things that I've never thought before. It's the most beautiful experience. The shared sense of imagination. I still get blown away by live performance. It's escape, isn't it? The first play that I appeared in was... Oh my goodness. I was in a play at school called Me and My Girl, and I was cast as postman. I had to come to the front of the stage, say a line, deliver a letter, and I think I did it with a plum. Obviously, because I'm a redhead, I had to play Annie. I mean, my very first performance was when I was five at school and I was Angel Gabriel. I played the Tin Man. I loved it. it. Took weeks to get the silver out of my hair, face, and other areas. The most memorable thing that's happened to me during the theatre production is. Oh wow! So many different things. When I was doing um, Holly Go Lightly in Breakfast and Japanese, and there was this stupid scene where I was in a bath, and this one particular night, I'm butt naked, slippery from being in the bath, and I'm running, and I just. <laughs> feeling like I'd broken something. And then the guys in the flies just being like, all right, love. Oh, they're American. You're right, sweetie. Okay, this is name dropping, but it is a really easy thing to say. Um, I was doing A Raisin in the Sun with Denzel Washington in, uh, on Broadway. And um, uh, the Obamas came to see their show. Yeah, I'm still buzzing off it all these years later. <laughs> there are so many plays that I didn't get to. Yes, there is a production I wish I had seen, um, Jerusalem. I missed it. How do you miss Jerusalem? How do you do that? I'm a Londoner, I missed it. I missed um, Arinzi doing Misty. I'm gutted because I heard it was fantastic. I remember seeing Jerusalem and you do feel like you're a part of something that can never be really repeated. In a way, you know, that's part of what is wonderful about, about missing them. You, you know, you hear about them and they become uh, mythic and legendary. The thing that I love most about performing on stage is that anything can happen. Things go wrong, and that's really exciting. Ugh, yeah, there's nothing like it. The thing that I like the most about performing is the other actors. Um, I've been in a couple of one-man plays, and it's not as fun. It has to be the interaction with the audience. Building a connection with a room full of people that I've never met. You share this sense of awe that uh, embraces this story that you're telling. Okay, so dealing with nerves. I don't really get many. Uh, Trying to get myself as grounded as possible. Breathing. The worst thing that I could possibly do before going on stage is, is having a coffee. <laughs> I like to use the nerves as well. I sort of get a bit worried if I don't have any nerves. I get butterflies before watching a show as well, but in a good way. I don't think nerves ever leave. You speak to the greatest actors who are so experienced and they still say they are terrified. So I think you just have to get on with it. <laughs> I think the thing to remember is that you play a part and that kids, when they are playing, they don't get nervous. They just play. So I think it's to think, you know, if it goes wrong, it goes wrong. And so that then it allows you to be free and to be playful. And that's the most important thing to have as an actor. My top tip for learning lines. I fucking hate learning lines. Um, top tip, I mean, I, I need t tips myself. I think it's about repetition. 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 You just have to persevere. <laughs> Try not to learn them in isolation. I find it quite hard to learn lines when I'm just by myself. I do it to my cooker, my oven, or I record myself, or I just badger friends. There are so many memorable theatre performances for different reasons. I remember seeing Maggie Smith in Lettuce and Lovage when I was at school and just was completely blown away. She was so funny and she was a woman and it was just brilliant. Well, the last few years immediately springs to mind is Melda Staunton in Gypsy. Her energy is just incredible. She was just a kind of thunderbolt on the stage. I was really inspired by seeing Anthony Hopkins in Pravda at the National Theatre when I was a school boy. My dream role, okay, there's a few. You got Blanche Dubois and you got Lady M. I can't say her full name because we are in a theatre and it's just terribly bad luck. I don't think I really have a dream role. My dream is to continue making meaningful work. 
I love new plays, basically. I love new writing, so like, I'm sure my dream role is still yet to be written. Theatre is so important. Coming together communally to share stories, I think, is an essential part of our community. We need storytelling to interpret what is going on around us. It's how you relate, it's how you communicate with someone else, it's how you feel empathy. If we don't have theatre, we're not giving ourselves a full chance to feel fully alive. In the times we're living now, theatre feels more relevant than ever. Three words to sum up performing in a theatre. Chaotic. Grueling. Terrifying. Weirdly safe. One word is just never enough, is it? Um, Adrenalised. Raw. Exhilarating. Loud. Emotional. Euphoric. Magic. Communication. Exhilarating. Electric. Spontaneous. Unpredictable. Fear. Tingly. <laughs> Home.